Greetings everyone, Bansal Kram Music here. This video is part of my Quick Tip series. Welcome to the next in my series on how to create retro style sounds in VPS Avenger. Last time, just to recap, we touched on um, selecting an appropriate waveform. We also talked about fine tuning the oscillator, and we also mentioned the voice mix as well, taking it all the way down. So I'm going to present to you a few more tips. Some of these are my own tips, which I just found out by myself, and some actually come from the sound designer at Vengeance himself. So here we go. The first thing I would mention is the cutoff filter. I think more modern EDM sounds are, are brighter and a bit sharper, so often I take the cutoff filter down a little bit to reflect the fact that some of the retro sounds are not quite as sharp. Also from the sound designer at Vengeance I got this tip to select the next low pass filters, one of these two, that apparently is more suitable for retro type sounds. And then going over to the EQ section here, in the equalizer, you will find a number of EQ presets which are actually suited towards analog retro type sounds. And you can see here the first four definitely are. Okay, let's look at a few more EQ tips. Set this back to default. Open it up into a larger window. Let's take this down to about 60 Hz. Boost the low end a touch. Next between 3 and 500. I want to give that a boost. And also the brilliance, about 12k. So typically for those retro style sounds, those three areas can be boosted. Let's also go over here to the filter section. Let's turn on the master filter. Enable this. And for those presets that need to have a gritty, more dirty sound, take it up to roughly about 9 o'clock and that adds some global distortion to the sound. Let's go over to the um, effects rack again. Okay, under the modulation section, I have found the vintage chorus to be helpful sometimes. And for me, especially on pads, I like this sound, brass chorus. But I would certainly check out the vintage type um, effects to hear what they do to your sound. Okay, that's about it for this week. We've looked at uh, the filter cutoff, taking this down a touch. We've looked at selecting the next types in the filter section. We've explored some EQ tips. We've looked at a global distortion. And we've looked at vintage type effects. Okay, hope you found it helpful. If you have, click subscribe and the like button. And look out for more quick tips, sound design tutorials, and music sketches. See you next time. Cheers. <music>